Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks for joining me once again and welcome back to the channel. So believe it or not, today I'm doing yet another thread response or you could say contest entry. Kim from This Is Music has just dropped another contest. So he was going to wait until he had reached a thousand subscribers but as he said in this video thread, he was looking to offload some duplicate CDs by some female fronted Japanese heavy metal band. So I thought that sounds interesting, but more to the point, it's not about the prize. That's what you could win by entering this, but it was more, Kim has always been very supportive of this channel and always comments on my videos. And I've entered one of his threads before. So yeah, I would also like to enter because it's an interesting topic too. So the topic for this particular thread or contest, very simple because the prize is involving bands singing in a language other than English, namely Japanese, he's asked us to show some one or more examples of other releases where the band or the artist sings in a language other than English most of the time. So with my examples, I actually have three or four, um, but I've ruled out, as you guys know, I listen to a lot of black metal, but I've ruled out any Scandinavian black metal because as you probably know, with those particular countries, those black metal bands often sing in their native language. Um, in S Swedish bands, less so. They're more likely to sing in English rather than their native tongue. But, you know, Norwegian and Finnish bands often use that. So I thought that's too easy to choose Scandinavian black metal. So I've selected some other releases. So without further ado, I'll give you my examples. First example of an album which is sung in a language other than English. This is Balta with Macedonian Darkness and Evil. So um, you may have heard me talk about this album before. Baltak was a one-man black metal band from Australia. So he was Australian born, but of Macedonian descent or origin. And the main inspiration lyrically for this band is Alexander the Great. So that's the concept behind this band, Baltak. And for black metal, it actually sounds very original because the chordal patterns and the melodies are very different to, for example, Scandinavian black metal. So it's very blinding and intense and atmospheric. Some people say it's a bit repetitive and I could understand that to a degree, but it just has some really epic moments. So you can see on the back here, even though the title of the album, Macedonian Darkness and Evil is in English, all of the song titles are in Cyrillic. So this is Macedonian. And then on the inner sheet, they're transcribed to English lettering, but they're all still, phonetically, they're still Macedonian titles. So um, yeah, really great album. And my favorite songs off this are track two, Umiram Sega, and track four, Meitsa Kopfa. So I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but yeah, first example, this album is sung in Macedonian, that's Baltak with Macedonian Darkness and Evil. And in addition to that, I also own another album of his. This is called, this Baltak album is Zaganatiot Grad, which means the lost city. And again, all of the titles are in Macedonian. I think, except there's one or two which are in English, I think, but yeah, primarily Macedonian. So Baltak, one man Australian black metal band. Okay, so the next example of an album which is sung in a language other than English, I hadn't listened to this in years, but I did this morning and really enjoyed it. This is Inferus with Cult to the Lord of the Evil Light. So not Infernus, not Infernal, but Inferus. And Inferus are a black metal band from Brazil. So as you can imagine, the language they sing in sometimes is Portuguese, the language of Brazil. So looking on the back here, they do have some titles in English, but the album's divided into three parts. Some songs are sung in Latin and others are sung in Portuguese in addition to English. So um, if you're not familiar with Inferus, probably not because they're a pretty underground band actually, but what it reminds me of is it's very reminiscent of 90s Hellenic and Greek black metal. So if you like bands such as Agatus, especially with the keyboard sound, you will like this. It sounds a bit symphonic and bombastic in parts, but also quite raw but uh yeah actually a great album and um not to be confused but with the colombian band infernal which i saw at Steelfest, they were amazing as well but 
I think some of these South American black metal bands do something really unique and different to the standard black metal and this is no exception. So this album sung partly in Latin and Portuguese in Ferris with Cult to the Lord of the Evil Light. Great album. Okay, and the last example of a non-English album I'm going to show. This is Tormento with Recipe Ferrum. So most of you are probably familiar with Tormentor. That is the band fronted by current Mayhem vocalist Attila Chishar. So this was his, the band he was in before Mayhem actually. And then this album came out in the year 2000. Again, this album is not sung entirely in one language. Like um, the first eight tracks are all in English. I think apart from, oh, Recipe Ferrum is a Latin title. But the album is again divided into three parts and the last two are sung in their native tongue which is Hungarian. So I have no idea what the lyrics are about. But yeah, you even see in part two it says the Hungarian trilogy. So all of those titles are in Hungarian. Hungarian is a very difficult language. I think it's distantly related to Finnish and nothing else. So I have no idea what they're talking about. But um, yes, I think they're sort of um, diving into their country's cultural heritage with uh, some of these. Unfortunately though, I have to say the first eight tracks on the album, the ones in English, they are the highlight for me. Parts two and three, it's a tough listen. Like, um, musically, not too bad. It takes a lot of influence. It, obviously, it's, this is a melodic black metal band and sometimes it sounds even a bit happy on this album, but in a good way. But in parts two and three, the music is more traditional, heavy metal and rock oriented. But no offense, but parts two and three, it's completely ridiculous. Like some of the the, the vocals, they're, I don't know, somewhere between laughable and painful. And they even say part two, cult legend tales, nation fun theater joke. So I don't know if they're doing it sarcastically, but some of the songs in parts two and three are pretty much unlistenable because of the vocals, in my opinion, but the music is still very, very good. So yeah. So this is my third example, Tormentor's Recipe Ferrum, where the lyrics are in English and then for the second half of the album, Hungarian. All right, so that's it guys, short and sweet, although this video is probably longer than most people's. So I um, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you continue to watch. On that note, uh, as a result of the last two thread responses I did, I lost three subscribers. So uh, <laughs> I guess people didn't enjoy those too much, which is a shame because obviously I only put out videos if I'm happy with them personally. Goes without saying really, but yeah, if it gets my seal of approval, I put it out. But then again, the voice of the public speaks, so I'm sorry that other people didn't like those videos so much, but what can you do? I'll just keep doing my best. So, um, thanks again, Kim, for creating this contest, and again, I'm not really in it for the prize, although the prize is cool. It's more um, just because it was a cool idea and you're very supportive of this channel, so thanks very much. So, on that note, guys, um, if you feel inclined, please subscribe, comment, don't forget to comment and like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll be back again soon with a long-awaited collection update. Sorry, these threads just keep coming up and I've been enjoying them. So I'll be back again soon. So in the meantime, take care and see you later. Bye.